Hello YouTubers, this is Cessna Ace back again with another video. A Laserdisc Ads video this time. I know it's been a long time since I've done one of these. I would like to dedicate this video to all of the people out there who subscribe to my channel, at least in part, to watch my Laserdisc Ads videos. I know I haven't done one in quite some time. I know that uh, one of my Patreon supporters, uh, Mark McGillicott, uh, he mentioned to me that uh, he likes watching my Laserdisc, VHS, and DVD and Blu-ray ads. Um, so this is for him, partially. And also, there are two users at Highscore.com. Their usernames there are Bamsey and Arrowhead12. I know they subscribe to my channel to watch, well, the gaming content, but also my Laserdisc ads videos. So this is for all of you now I have a bit of a problem uh, I had put these laserdiscs aside initially to enter them into my collection at the laserdisc database I went there tonight to confirm whether or not I had in fact entered them in or not and found that my account has been frozen due to inactivity I tried to get in contact with the uh, administrator there, but for some technical reason I wasn't able to do so. So if there are any members of the Laserdisc database out there, please contact Julian and let him know that Cessna Ace would like to reactivate his account. All of my information should still be there as far as what I own and so forth. It's just a matter of unlocking it or unfreezing it. He has my email address because all that information was stored. So, if you would do that, I would appreciate it. Now, this first one is a double feature. A Russ Meyer double feature. Lorna and Mud Honey. Distributed by Image Entertainment, of course. Down here, there's a box. It says, um, look for these other titles on Laserdisc. The Best of Russ Meyer. Beneath the Valley of the Ultra Vixens. Russ Meyer's Up. Faster Pussycat. Kill, Kill. Mondo Topless. Motor Psycho. Sounds like a video game title. Vixen, Finders Keepers, Lovers Weepers, Wild Guiles of the Naked West, Super Vixens, Cherry, Harry, and Raquel, Good Morning and Goodbye, Common Law Cabin, The Immortal of Mr. T's, Eve and the Handyman. Gee, I didn't know there were that many Russ Myers films that had been released on Laserdisc. Unfortunately, this is not a gatefold jacket. Okay, this is a Japanese release. Although the content is American, it's still sealed though. Yes, I still have five working laserdisc players. Unfortunately, I only have four in the house because uh, I had lent one out to a friend a couple of years ago and I have yet to get it back. But that leaves me with four in-house at work and I have their non-working uh, Laserdisc uh, DVD combination player in my garage. Needs a new power supply. Don't know if you can tell, but this is Tales from the Crypt Volume 1. This, of course, is the home box office uh, television series. Executive producers Richard Donner, Walter Hill, Robert Zemeckis, Joel Silver, and David Gillier.
So notice that the OB strip, this thing here, is still intact. This originally sold, well, there are two prices listed. 4,700 yen and 4,841 yen. I don't know why it would have two, two uh, prices listed, but I noticed that a lot of Japanese laser discs do that, and I don't know the significance of it because I don't read Japanese. I'm lucky if I can get away with reading English. All right, this is from LumaVision, which I believe was owned by Aaron Spelling. In addition to releasing the Adams Family television series on Laserdisc, we have the first four volumes. I believe they released six volumes. They also released a lot of anime. This is Robot Carnival. Now, the last three, uh, four chapters look interesting. Uh, closing, conclusion of storyline developed from opening sequence, 10 English credits, 11 Robot Carnival trailer, 12 Japanese credits, alternative version of Japanese closing sequence with credits interspersed. Each segment was produced as a separate short film and the sequence as it appears on the Laserdisc differs from the original Japanese and American VHS home video releases. It has been approved by Kazafumi Nomura as the correct viewing sequence optimized for Laserdisc. Running time 100 minutes. I have a ton of Japanese releases of anime. Okay. This one is still sealed, and it will probably stay that way. This is a porn title from Laserdisc Entertainment, which was a division or subsidiary of Image Entertainment created because they eventually became the distributor of Disney films on Laserdisc. And Disney didn't want any part or any association with a company that had its hand in the distribution of porn. So they created several subsidiary labels, Laserdisc Entertainment being one of them. This originally sold for $59.98, starring Melissa Hill. The girl with the heart-shaped tattoo. Directed by Tony English. Shot on film. Adult material rated X. Not for sale to minors. The original uh, video cassette version was released by Wave from Vivid. I can't remember if I showed the back or not. Okay, these three got out of order, out of sequence. Originally produced by Playboy, distributed by Image Entertainment. This is the first in the Eden series. And I could go to the Laserdisc database and see how many there were in the series, but I can't do that. All right, this is Eden 2.
and Eden 3. I had picked these up from the seller on eBay. The jackets are not in the best of condition. But they will suffice, I suppose. Okay, there were at least two musical adaptations of MAME. Truly horrible one starring Lucille Ball, simply entitled MAME. This one stars Rosalind Russell. Auntie Maine. Auntie Maine. This should have been the gatefold jacket as well, but Warner Brothers went the cheap route. Although I can assure you. This was probably not cheap originally. Oh, well, it, well, it was eventually sold as a used copy by Blockbuster Video for $29.95. I don't know about other cities, but in Jacksonville, Florida, the Blockbuster Video's uh, stores rented Laserdiscs and then sold them when they were done with them. This one is still sealed. Staying Alive. Sylvester Stallone movie. You don't believe me? He co-produced it and he directed it. Paramount Pictures presents a Robert Stigwood production of Sylvester Stallone film. John Travolta, Staying Alive, Cynthia Rhodes, Fanola Hughes, Steve Winwood, featuring songs by the Bee Gees. Executive producer, Bill Oakes. Written by Sylvester Stallone and Norman Wexler. Produced by Robert Stigwood and Sylvester Stallone. Directed by Sylvester Stallone. A Paramount Picture. So I'm going to call it a Sylvester Stallone film. Okay, a world full of magic, wonder, and desire. Legend from MCA Home Video. MCA was at the time the parent company of Universal Studios. MCA was co-inventor of the Laserdisc format. Along with Philips slash Magnavox. Magnavox being the American subsidiary of Philips. Rob Lowe, Meg Tilly, Kim Cattrall, Masquerade, originally released by MGM UA, but released on Laserdisc by CBS Fox. And I've noticed the same thing with a number of their DVD releases, MGM, that they'll be distributed by Fox. In fact, in the CED era, there, yes, there was CBS Fox, but there was also CBS MGM as a label. Okay, most requested Philippine songs, volume five. This is a karaoke disc. I would tell you how many karaoke discs I have, but I can't go to my collection at the Wiser Disc database and tell you. But I must have at least 
30 or 40. Okay, two volumes in the same series. The original owner, or a subsequent owner, not me, of this first volume in this series wrote their name on it. Or it was autographed by somebody, I don't know. Beauties Around the World, Lazy, Laser Karaoke Disc Philippine Song. I don't know enough about uh, music from the Philippines to know whether that is the name of an artist or not. But yes, Laserdiscs released in the Philippines are in the NTSC standard as were Laserdiscs in the US, Japan, and Hong Kong and a few other places. This is volume three of Beauties Around the World. Okay, this originally sold for $49.99 at Peaches. I didn't pay anywhere near that much for this. I have another release of this same movie. Image Entertainment published two editions, at least two, of this film on Laserdisc simultaneously. One a shorter version than the other. And without looking, I couldn't tell you whether this is the longer version or the shorter version. I don't know how long each was. I know how long this one is. It's 181 minutes, which would be three hours and one minute. Dances with Wolves. Wide screen. Okay, two thumbs up. Fascinating. Siskel and Ebert. This is a biopic of, of uh, Playboy publisher Hugh Hefner. Hugh Hefner, Once Upon a Time. Hmm. I was trying to find out who directed the thing, but there are no credits on the back of the jacket. They're on the front. Directed by Robert Heath. Narrated by James Coburn. Okay, getting near the end. Melanie Griffith. I remember when she had a career. Matthew Modine and Michael Keaton. Pacific Heights. From CBS Fox Video. And finally, a Paramount Pictures promotional sampler laser disc. I have two different versions of this for promotional purposes only.
Now they break things down by genre. Action segment one, romance segment one, comedy segment one, drama segment one, action segment two, and so forth. They have Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade in romance sector segment one. Greece is under Romance, Segment 2. Makes sense that they would put Murder on the Orient Express, which I believe I have that, and The Godfather Part 3 under Drama, Segment 2. Action, segment four has Serpico. Don't have that one. Shane, I have that one. Black Rain, I have that one. Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, I have that one. The War of the Worlds, I have that one. The Perfect Weapon, I'm not sure. Top Gun, I have that one. Now these kind of sampler discs were also released in Japan. In fact, I have one for the VHD format. Okay, that's going to wrap it up for this video. Until next time, stay awesome.